the people departing. Uh, Arima is the custodian of those people who depart and he will take care of them. So Mitra, Varuna, Aryama. These three are the solar deities. Sanno Mitra Shambaruna Sanno Havat Variyama Sanna Indro Bruhaspatihi Sanno Vishnu Rukramaha. So we, all these gods have got to provide us sham, Shanti. And also Indra, Bruhaspati, Aryama, Varuna, Mitra, and Vishnu. These are all the prominent individual deities who are well illustrated, explained in our Vedas. All because Mitra is the day provider, Varuna is the night provider, and Aryama is the caretaker of our own selves after body departing. And Indra is the god of all gods or leader. And Bruhaspati is the Prohita, the intelligent person, the guide and mentor and desika to all people. Then ultimately, all these are the administrative officers of Vishnu. But Vishnu also as a powerful person, some, some achievement. So that is what we call Vishnu Urukramaha. So that is the most important uh, feat and achievement which Vishnu achieved and that becomes a proverbial and historical and universal one. Therefore, Vishnu Nukam Viryani Pravocham. What is the Viryam of Vishnu? Yaha Parthivani Vimame Rajagumsi. So he tried to cover up the Parthivas everywhere and that's one. And therefore, Urukramaha, long strides. And so, Brahmane Namaha. So, uh, Brahma, the superior, Parabrahma is referred. And then next comes the Vayu. Vayu Deva is Sanchara in, in Antaret Sloka. Then he is the Pratyaksha Brahma. That is, you can see sun, but you cannot see wind. But you feel wind. You have the influence of the Vayu. And therefore, he is also a Pratyaksha Brahma. And uh, we say that we call you as only the visible feeling. And uh, ultimately, we are to promise that Rutam Satyam Vadishyami. I adopt myself to practice of the Rutam and Satyam, these two cosmic laws and human mundane laws which will protect all people. So, Tasmat, therefore, he should protect us, protect. Uh, the teacher, the, tea, the the guru, and then me, and then him. So this is how we talk about. Then we understand Mitra and Varuna, how coordinating they are. And they are, you know, Aruna Prasna described to be the children. And, uh, and moreover, Jau and Akasha, I mean, Jau, Akasha, and Prithvi, they are the, uh, something like Parvati, Parmeswaras, uh, where from oh, most of the things uh, come up. And you know, for example, in the we are all there in the Aruna Prasna traveling to, through, and well, the only, we know we are going to Aruna Prasna, where it is said that we have understood Syava Swasya <clears throat> was a wonderful Vedic seer, and that Syava Swasya is Surya Bhagavan himself, and they are. Actually, the rank, the seers are, are equal rank or more than more in uh, distinction compared to the other other gods. Therefore, the rishis are very powerful, and uh, they are more powerful and eminent rishis are, and they are known. Why? Because they are rishis are powerful, known for austerity and tyaga for providing Lokalyanam. Therefore, Syava, Swasya, Ashtakamasya. We have just covered that point about the Syava, Rushi. And then we have come to note about Amiya Ruchanihita Savuchanaktam Dadrusre Kuhachid Diveyuhu Adabdhani Varanasya Vratani 
Vichakasaschandramanakshatramedi. Up till then, we have come in the last session, as it's indicated here on the screen, that we have understand the stars, Rukshaha, the stars which are placed in the sky by Brahmadeva, they are shine only in the night. Nihitaha. So where are they deposited? Ucha Nihitaha. They are all kept in the Ucha, the sky, Brahmadeva. And then also, but in the day, they found play, uh, they have found place at a, at, in the sky, but they are not visible. That's why Atha here, Nattam Dadrusre, Kuhachi Dive, Yuhu, Ami Yarushani Hita Savucha, Nattam Dadrusre, Kuhachi Dive, Yuhu, meaning that the Kuhachi, they found place in the sky, and uh, the activity of Varuna. The envelopes uh, in the brightness of the stars, and therefore their light is impeded. That, but in contrast, you got uh, you got the uh, moon, moon shining excessively bright, makes also the stars to shine high along with him. Therefore, at night we have got uh, moon and stars. In the morning only sun uh, alone visible. Therefore, Chandramaha Vichakasatu, we got the word Chandramaha Vichakasatu Nakshatram Yeti. So the moon, Vichakasatu uh, means very much shining brightly. He will just take the light also of the stars, Nakshatram Yeti, meaning that allowing the stars also, also to shine along with him. That's what we have noted. Also, a simple cosmic phenomena in the sky, which we see every day, is being explained with a note of differentiation between the brilliance of sun and moon. And they are in relation with the stars. And that also is a determined such that there cannot be any doubt or any uh, a doubt uh, posed by anybody because of the light uh, intensity between them, and there is that kind of a phenomena. So stars are also created by Brahma, and but uh, they do not appear much on the daytime, and though they stay in the only in the mood, they are available. So with all this uh, idea about the sun and uh, I mean about Surya and Varuna, and uh, the nakshatras, who are the ornament for the sky. There is a statement in Subhashita that Nabhasaha Bhushanam Chandraha. Prithivya Bhushanam Raja. And Lajja Bhushanam Narinam. Like that, Subhashita goes. Meaning, see, the moon and sun, the stars, they are taken as the ornament of the sky. Mere sky, no. But sky with sun, sky with stars, sky with sun, moon, very pleasant. And like uh, the, king, the kingdom, without king is no dumb at all. No, no, you know. So king is important. For a lady, the lajja is important. Like that they have said here. And on the other hand, adabdhani varunasya vratani. So varuna vratas, the devotion towards varuna are adabdhani. That is, you cannot prevent them. The activity of the uh, Surya, activity of the moon upon the, upon the nakshatras is uh, unimpeded. And so, but they are there. Influence is there. That's why adabdhani is the word used. Uh, not preventable, not painful, not uh, troubles mind. So that's why adabdhani, adabdhani. adabdhani. Therefore, in the case of moon and night, so, uh, this is that. Now we are going into talk about the Tatsa Vituhu. Om Chapandi Tatsa Vitur Vare Nyam. Om Tatsa Vitur Vare Nyam. Om Tatsa Vitur Vare Nyam. Argo Devasyadhi Mahi. 
Varko Devasya Dimahi, Varko Devasya Dimahi, Dio Yona Prachodaya to Dio Yona Prachodaya to Dio Yona Prachodaya to Tatsavitur Runi Mahe, Tatsavitur Runi Mahe, Tatsavitur Runi Mahe, Payam Devasya Bojanam. Vayam Devasya Bhojanam, Vayam Devasya Bhojanam, Estagum Sarvadhatamam, Estagum Sarvadhatamam, Restagum Sarvadhatamam, Restagum Duram Pagasya Dimahi, Duram Pagasya Dimahi, Duram Pagasya Dimahi, Duram tapapa go hata savita trubin. Apa go hata savita trubin. Apa go hata savita trubin. Sarwan divo ambasaha. Sarwan sarwan divo antasaha. Sarwan divo antasaha. Naktam tanya pavandruse, Naktam tanya pavandruse, Naktam tanya pavandruse, Astrosnia sampavishya maha, Astnia astasnia sampavishya maha, Astyasna sampavishya maha. Na mana maiva na mame. Na vana maiva na mame. Na vana maiva na mame. So now you have, we have noted in the previous lines that moon's light and sun's light. So sun's light is so powerful. And that's exactly termed otherwise also as Varenyam Bhargaha. So, Savituhu Bhargaha, how is like that? Bhargaha is Kanti, effulgence, brilliance. And uh, between the, which is the, how like it is called? Varenyam, Varaniyam, Runitum Yogyam. So, it is one which we can choose, we can elect, we can depend. So we can depend upon more on sunlight. And uh, so to say that the starlight also feels dull, I mean, it cannot be necessary. Therefore, we want that best light. What does it do for, to us? And light also is a, is a dynamic energy that we should show. It's also dynamism is there in the light. Light cannot stay at one place, it travels. So in physics, we come to know that light travels. And there is also in traveling, we talk about the uh, speed, speed of light, because it's almost high speed. Starlight speed is different, I think, from the sunlight speed than moonlight speed. But that's why in number of aspects, the Bhargaha of Devasya Savitsuho is Varenyam. And what is our uh, lot, our lot is we have to meditate upon that brilliance or highest refulgence of that God. And the sun here, having light with him, he is going to be the impeller. So Savita means Prasavita, means he is the impeller of light. So energy. So that's why we he is called as Savituhu varenyam bhargaha. And uh, what are we to do? Dhimahi, meditate upon. Because the meditation or tapas is the highest tool to unravel many, many secrets of gods and nature and everything. That's why we are being told in the Atri Upanishad, tapasa brahma vijigna sasva Tapo Brahmeti Tasma Unlike that. 
So that's the instruction given by the Acharya father. Varunam pita ramapasasara, prajapatim varunam pita ramapasasara, adhihi bhagavo brahmiti. Then he would simply say that, satyam nanam, no, he says that, annam pranam mano, etc. So annam pranam manaha, all these are anandam or Brahma, but which is the real Brahma, which is the Parasattva that I can seek after. Therefore, here also the Parasattva or highest is our Tapas. And also we have got to know that Tapa is the Saporit Chapauru Sishti. Therein, though there are Swadhyaya Pravachana Bhyam Pramahitavyam, there was a Jnana Sabha discussion where Tapa, where the Swadhyaya and Pravachana are important. And uh, ultimately, there, Tapa is Saporit Chapauru Sishti. Tapas. There is no replacement for the Tapas. And that tapas, that heat, that sunshine, that radiance, that thermal power, etc., is there in Surya Bhagavan, who is a prasavita, who is impeller. Well, impeller means, you know, we got propeller and impeller. So he is one who will instill the activity. The moment the sun is appearing on the sky, people have to get up. So, and why? Because he is also responsible to offer Esha Devan Suraganan Pati Gabastibihi Esha Brahma Chavishnuscha, etc. The Twalmik Maharshi tells in Ayatyavardayam, identifying Surya Bhagavan, how he would be a Savita. Because Savita is the highly potential source of. Uh, administration or uh, activity. Therefore, we say that Bhargo Devasya Simahi Dhimahi meditate upon that. Why? So, Dhyo Yona Prachodayatu. See, Dhyaha is the asset for all beings born in the world. Dhyaha is the intelligence. Dhyaha is that Medha, Manisha, and all that. And when once you go to that dhimahi, dhiyaha, these are the connect, these are the connected words, dhiyaha unte dhimahi ostundi. That is, you it is a mind job, meditation, finding to finding out uh, the the greatness or many factors about the gods or about these mystical beings is only possible through meditation, through dhyana. So dhyana. Dhimaha and Dhyaha and Dhetra Dhyatru, well, they're all connected to Dhi. And in fact, uh, there is one professor in Holland University, he, he not, <clears throat> probably not now, he has written find some good book upon the vision of the Vedic poets. So there he thinks that Dhi is the vision, which is able to catch up so many things. So, Vision of the Vedic Poets, the book he has written, there is just focused on the word dhiyaha and dhimahi and all other forms. Then you understand how pregnant, contentful is the dhi that people could afford and once they are born. And those people who consider dhi as their wealth for positive attainments, they are all called as dhiras. And dhira sabda comes up because, because of that. That's why Kalidasa says, vikara hetau sati na vikriyante yesham hi chetam sitayeva dhira. So manas, chetas is there, everybody. Therefore, when we concentrate our attention of our mind upon the upon the choicest of, uh, effulgence of the Paramatma, Savita, Devata. Actually, we know Tola Adishyas are there. Mitra Ravi Surya Bhanu Khagapusha Hiranyadarbha Savitra Savita is there, one of them. Marichi Bhaskare Bhyo Out of 12 divided aspects of Aditya, 
the Savitru Devata work is to work upon the minds of all people. And this mantra originally occurs in the Rugveda, third Sugandara, 62nd Sukta, the 10th verse. Actually, the 62nd Sukta of third mandala, Vishwamitra mandala, it is called. And, uh, and in that, Vishwamitra Rushi got 16 mantras. And among 16 mantras of 62nd Sukta, you have only uh, you have only this mantra, Gayatri mantra, we call it as Satsavitruvarenyam, Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yora Prachodayat, as the 10th mantra. Many people do not know the first nine mantras, do not know 11 to 16 mantras, but they always remember Vishwamitra Rishi, Savita Devata, Gayatri, Chandaha, and so on. Therefore, this Tatsavitru Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yora Prachodayat is originating in the Rigveda and it is being found in almost all the four Vedas. And uh, also a lot of books have been written on the Gayatri Mantra. And this uh, such a profuse literature has grown up. The simple reason is that the Paramatma's influence works upon our mind. And mind is the one determines any and everything. For example, this is said that Mano meva tipramang me mana sipratishtita Mano meva tipratishtitam aviravihi. Like that it goes, the Santa Mantram. So va, the walk and everything is the mind, and that mind is being controlled and monitored by Surya Bhagavan. Therefore, in fact, I have written a beautiful article long back uh, which appeared in the uh, some in the in the uh, some bit or some drama, some journal from Delhi long years back the course of Gayatri mantra from Rigveda down this literature so up till now how that Rigveda mantra has taken so so Rigveda mantra that is Ratsavitru Varenyam Bhargaha is a nadi and it has grown to Mahanadi because the Brahma mantra. Therefore, Devasya Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi. That's why whenever a boy is given the investiture, the Egnobhivitam, what is that called? Brahmopadesha Akvanam. Brahmopadesha means in initiating the boy with this Gayatri mantra with which he will grow and enjoy the all round prosperity. Therefore, Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi. And what is the benefit of this particular mantra upasana, mantra japa and mantra anushthana, yet mantra homa. So homa is being done, japa is being done, meditation is being done. And the advantage is yaha naha dhyaha prachodayat. This we have to mark. Buddhi bhagunte. Life anta utsahanga bhavantundi, rakarakala achievements, distinctions, etc. will come. If the mind does not be all right, if it does not give you proper thoughts and uh, plannings, etc., then we are not prosperous. Therefore, what do we do? Naha dhyaha prachodayat. So, dhyaha is the source of all human happiness. Dhyaha is the source of all kinds of achievement. So Dhyo Yona Prachodayat is wonderful. Therefore, we are just talking that they would direct our intelligence and also direct all our actions. So this Gayatri Mantra, which is occurring here also, is a complement to talk about the exuberance of the brilliance that our um, God, the Paramatma, Deva Savita, the Lord, who is Sampalar, would be. So we have got Dhihi, Dhiyaha, Dhiyaha. The Sabda goes as Dhihi is ammative singular, Dhiyaha, plural, and Dhiyaha. So Dhiyoyona Prachodayat 
He is dhyaha prachodaya. That means all round intelligence. You know that your intelligence must be all round in a sense that you must be able to understand everything. And uh, people are all divided in their own respective skills, uh, clarity, cleverness, action, etc. Therefore, the word dhyaha has got that much reference and uh, practice of all sorts of functions and professions and etc. And dhi mahi. Another important thing that we have got to note here is that the, of all the verbs employed in the Rigveda, I have studied this Vatilgai Tri Mantra and uh, tried to assess uh, why at all this Dhyo uh, Yona Prachodayat Mantra is really powerful because. Because the, the verb dhyaha even prachodayat is only occurring for one time. So it's occurring only one time. There are, there are hundreds of verbs in the mantras of Rigveda. For example, 10,028 mantras are there. Out of 10,028 mantras, the prachodayat is occurring only in this mantra, directing, because that's what exactly the guidance. A guru, a guide, will cannot be always with us. He will give enough energy to us and make us go into the, onto the arena. I think so, for example, Ideally, I can talk about Aditya Hrudayam. What did Agastya Maharshi said? Rama Rama Mahabaho. He came, shouted at Rama, saying that you don't get all this strategy. So you see, you just worship Surya Bhagavan. See, Rasmi Mantam Samudyantam, like that he started. Puja Yasvaivasvantam Bhaskaram Bhuvaneswaram. So you just talk about Surya Bhagavan. He is a Bhuvaneswara. He's a Rasmi one, Rasmi success. Hmm? Rasmi Vantam and Samudhyantam, always with the bubbling enthusiasm. Never you see disenthusiasm in Surya Bhagavan. Right in the morning, at the rise, how much enthusiasm and brightness and tawny color and uh, is there. Even at the time of sitting, never change. So that's why people rush to see sunrise and sunset, whether in the ocean or in the mountains or so on. That's a matter because he is one who can give you that kind of necessary impetus that you can go ahead. So, and that impetus and all that could be possible through our mind. So, Prachodayat is one. And of course, there are other mantras in the same sukta, but they are of different uh, description and all that. So, Dhyo Yona Prachodayat. And moreover, Another important point is that this Gayatri Mantra has not got any desire specific mentioned at all. See, so it is a Mocha. Mocha Mantra it is called. If you just do Gayatri long, long, long time, it will lead you to Mocha. Therefore, there are books written on that, but I'm not going to talk much about this Mantra, but I just want you to impress yourself upon that uh, the Surya Mantra, Gayatri Mantra, is to work upon our minds that we will be able to manage our life's journey ably, intelligently, prosperously, not only with the mundane happiness, but also with, with also expecting the super mundane elevation and all that. So, Tatsavitarvarendiyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat I think I can stop from more because I can keep on talking about uh, the Gayatri Mantra in different, different folds. And uh, this is only a repetition here because you understand this Gayatri Mantra has been uh, embedded just after talking about the super brilliance of Surya Bhagavan super brilliance of Bhagavan because there is no higher. That's why in Saura Suktam also we have learned that. See, Surya Agan Majyotiruttamam 
This varenyam bhargaha is what? Uttamam jyotihi. Uttamam jyotihi in Sanskrit means simply superlative. There is no second comparison at all. Therefore, he said uttamam jyotihi aganma. This happened to be the motto of Vedat Jena Kendra uh, in Bangalore and uh, people are all, that is given by my guru, Dr. C.G. Kashikar, because that varenyam bhargaha is very much important. Now we go to the next line, which is supposed to be the Savitri Mantra. Tat Savitur Vruni Mahe Vayam Devasya Bhojanam Sreshtagum Sarvadhatamam So, this is another mantra, almost equally potential, but not as much as powerful. But this is one, I, the Smriti Grandhas tell you that this particular Savitri mantra is to be given to a person who is getting the Upanayana Samskaram after the due date, after the expiry date. What is the expiry date? For Brahmins from 8 to 16 years, they are eligible to get Upanayanam. For Kshatriyas, from 12 to 20 years, eligible for Upanayanam, 8 years gap. And for Vaishyas, 16 to 24 years, eligible. That's why Vaishyas club, marriage and Upanayanam together. Maybe sometimes this Kshatriyas. But Brahmins cannot, need not, should not. But generally, nowadays things have changed. But guys, so there should be at least eight days of Brahmacharyam or eight hours of Brahmacharyam between Brahma Padesha and the Vivaha and the Vivaha or Kanya Svikara. Before you accept a wife, you should have some gap. You cannot simply sit on this plate, on this seat, get Brahma Padesha and transfer yourself immediately to the Vivaha mantapam and get marriage done. I don't think that is recommended by our rishis because brahmacharyam ye brahmacharyam anushthana brahmacharya anushthana is required. What is brahmacharya anushthana? There are so many rules and regulations but the meaningful thing is Gayatri should not be forgotten. Gayatri aparam mantram namatu paradaivata. So here, you observe the first two lines are the, the first line is the same. Tatsavituhu Tatsavituhu Varen Runi Mahe Vayam Devasya Bhojanam Sreshtam Sarvadhatamam Here, the second line, see, we are just meditating upon the sunlight after 16 years for a Brahmin. This mantra to be initiated, people say, but strictly speaking, people are not malaying that. But they must be at least aware that this mantra can re vayam devasya bhojanam ali andre we are the bhojanam for the god. Another thing is we are a means for obtaining material happiness. So then once we are having the birth on land, we are only looking at the material happiness but not spiritual upliftment and happiness. But actually the, <coughs> the target should be to go to the higher levels of happiness spiritually, higher planes of happiness happily. But here, vayam devasya bhojanam, that is we are a means to attain for obtaining material happiness. And uh, what is this kind of bhojanam? What is this material prosperity? Is Sreshtagum Sarvadhatamam. See, Sreshtam Sarvadhatamam Devasya Bhojanam. Vayam. So these are all the adjectives, description of that. Sar Sarvadhatamam means that which is sustains to all the worlds. And so we are sub working to provide all that for material gains and comforts, but not. So that's why says 
and turambhagasya dhimahi. Here also the word dhimahi is it. Turambhagasya dhimahi. Here also I got the word dhimahi. But what is that? Uh, turam, quickly. Bhaga is the kanti. Bhaga is the wealth, material. You got, the, I, you know, there is a bhagya suktam where bhagya is lakshmi, bhagya is fortune. So in bhagya suktam, you mention so many deities who are able to be the custodians of providing fortune, wealth, prosperity to all us. That's why say bhoj, and here the word as bhagasya dhimahi. And on the other hand, bhaga is also one of the adityas. So you observe here, Savita and Bhaga, both are the uh, forms of Aditya. Mitra, Ravi, Surya, Bhanu, Khaga, Pusha, Hiranyagarbha, Savitra, Bhaga. So Bhaga is also Bhaga, Bhaga, Bhagavan. Therefore, Surya Bhagavan is all that. And therefore, the mantra, Bhagdhi Mahi, meditate upon for quick material gain. Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi, Atva Sreshta Gunsuram Bhagasya Dhimahi. So Bharga Turam, you observe the two. Bhagasya Dhimahi is one. There Devasya Dhimahi and here Bhagasya Dhimahi, Turam Bharga. So there is some kind of level difference between that we understand as is explained by the commentators. But uh, Surya Bhagavan is common he will be able to give us anything, but we quickly meditate upon the tejas of Surya Bhagavan, of Teja Bhagavan, so that there is the there is the material benefit more than the spiritual comfort. So there are a number of Srutikaras. <coughs> who try to focus on the on these two mantras. Now we go to the next one. I hope you understood. There is a lot of importance and good discussion going on on these two mantras, a contrast, you know, Spruti's text. Apaguhata savita trubhinnod Suring our head, Apaguhata Apaguhata Apa go hata Savita trubin Savita trubin Apa go hata Savita trubi ana trubi ena Sarwan divo anta saha Sarwan divo anta saha Sarwan divo anta saha yeah. Sarvan and Naktam Tani Abhavan Druse Naktam Tani Abhavan Druse Naktam Tani Abhavan Druse Astasna Sambhavishyamaha Astas na sambhavisyama astas na sambhavisyama nama nama iva nama me nama nama iva nama me nama nama iva nama me this is highly philosophical and spiritual statements because Surya Bhagavan is a Moksha Karaka. And uh, what remains after leaving our body is uh, fame and spiritual punyam and all that. So that Nama, Nama Iva, Nama means that Nama Sabda is repeated three times at the end. So uh, that is very significant point. And another point which we learn here is 
Surya Bhagavan is so bright, whatever uh, astral bodies are there in the sky, they don't become visible. Apa guhata savita trubhin. So savita, apa guhata. Apa guhata means he has kept every astral body to be hidden. And uh, how did he do it? Itavita Sarvan Trubhin Divaha. By virtue of his most powerful rays, he has made every planet, everything hidden in the sky as he is there. And uh, then Inaktam and and both those objects which are hidden in the in the uh, in the sky are seen only in the night. You see now you see moon, you see night and stars and all things visible only in the night because he will allow them to shine. He will allow them to function. He will allow them. So Surya the Bhagavan does not totally occupy the sky whole time, 24 hours, but he will also give chance for the other luminary aspects to become visible to people and perform their respective functions and uh, he will be he will be done then so night caser and all that how like it is that it's a beautiful idea look at it that's why you understand sarvan divo andhasaha so andhasaha sarva andhasaha during night time and when he is not visible, but make all other subsidiary luminary objects in the sky become bright and all that, that you call Naktam Druse Tani Abhavan. Sivalinga Chanakidya, Udira, you are following. Samskrut also Banbiritaramje. See, Naktam Abhavan, Andre, Adur Ratri Ayitu, Nakta Andre Ratri. Naktam Abhavan. See, that became a right. What for Druse Kan Kanodila? So Andre Noda the Ke Ratri Adre Asandar Badale Sayanagate and Dani Abhavan. So unless night falls, there is no appearance of these bodies. And how like Adi Henge Andre, we have bones in our body. And covering the bow, hiding the bones, there's a lo lot of layers are there in our body. How the uh, layers in the bone kanala. That bone is Surya Bhagavan. But he is helping the entire body, dynamism and everything, and he is there at the base. So skeleton nantara, skeleton no sketch you. So sketch agi by decoration model. So <clears throat> here, asti sna sambhavishya maha, meaning that sun will be, uh, sun will be like the, <clears throat> uh, like the asna, bones. So bonesu, fleshu, narusu, yalla ratala, adalla adra base avare sambhavishya maha, born. So then you understand the human body where several things have been hidden. That's why Tok Charnamagum Sarudharam Majjame Dhasnayavo Asthini. So these are all the eight layers in our body, beginning from the outer skin, inner skin, Tok Charma, Mamsa, flesh, Rudhira, blood, Narusu, other Snayu, Majja, etc., and then bones. So it is said here, here the reasoning is given how beings are born, hiding the bones and blood underneath the body skin. Hence, the science that skill is a covering, the, the skin is a covering the contents of the body. The, that's why in, the, in Saura Suktam also, it is said that Charmeva Mamsi. So, like Surya Bhagavan sets it like any and everywhere equally, 
just like the skin covering our flesh and blood in the body harmoniously smoothly any everywhere not having any swelling or any down dents but dent and swelling are taken to be the disease or symptoms for a disease therefore here surya bhagavan is represented to be like the bone he is the highest effulgence therefore aswasthasna astha asti sna and sambhavishya maha means being born so asti asthna taking that asti is the bone asthna are the nerves flesh and nerves so for the flesh and nerves the body is made up of that's why somewhere i saw that first of all god will throw plenty of bones upon that he will throw marrow upon that he will throw flesh then nerves and then makes a uh, structure <laughs> the structure of human being so all our masses but all that so if you look at the pindam before uh, any shape has been given in the womb mother's womb then you understand it's just only a small amount of uh, mutton ball i think so i don't know so that only takes a shape always uh, stone also is there lot of chiseling is done to make a idol so in that manner <clears throat> surya bhagavan is responsible to make all of them hidden in the sky when he is very much bright and active but he has also gives a chance for the inner things also to shine forth during the night time and uh, so when investigations took take place we also try to follow that's why the overpowering influence of sun's rays on the global bodies is explained in this particular section that beings are born hiding the bones and blood underneath the body skin so they are not visible at all if the outer skin is cut the inner skin white one to all people the primary covering for the body is white and upon the white you have got the banna color banna for the or color for the skin so brown black red etc all these colors are there only charmada banna that is the color of the skin but when once you dive deep further the skin color does not at all continue to be inside that's why shakespeare beautiful he said in one of his dramas when talking about the beauty defining the beauty in a western style said what is beauty after all skin deep he said skin deep if the skin is cut then the beauty gone you don't like that so because of the skin coverage the beauty is there we enhance the beauty of our body the handsomeness of our body by wearing the different different dresses or robes or attire etc that's why people in different countries are marked by their dress also so when once you go to place to place what is that you have to observe it is all the see vesha bhusha and bhasha vesha bhusha and bhasha these three things are variant and that only but the body the structure the anatomy etc of male female etc are all the same that's exactly what we are going to note in the next thing that nama nama eva nama me and napugum sakum pumagum next statement is napugum sa next napugum <clears throat> yeah you have got napugum sakum pumagum srisme stavarosme atha jangamaha yaje yakshi yashtahe cha beautiful here you have got the world operative and how things are going on see pum stri all these things only are for the creation purpose our continuation of the universe purpose but the moment the skin and other different factors are being ignored then they are all eligible for jangamaha 
Stavara Jangamaha. So this is what we got Stavaras and Jangamas. Jangama is the movement, Stavara is stationary. So dynamism and uh, statics. <laughs> so the movement, both are there in all the beings. And therefore, I got this Yaje, Yachi, Yashta, Hecha. So <clears throat> today we understand that Paramatma Siva, Iswara, that Aruna, he is having immense brilliance in him. When that brilliance is so super, no other brilliant body, lower of the nature, can become visible. And uh, but this the highest brilliance cannot be so impartial. So it will allow the stars to also or moon to also to shine and making himself uh, otherwise. So that's why one idea. It is just like people are all born not with visible bones and uh, blood, but so many other things. So you understand the parallel analogy that has been supplied here so must so i think i'll stop here for today and we continue that i hope you'll be able to feel how much science is there how much of understanding of human nature and the world material world and the bright world and uh, so on so that's why aruna prasna seems to be a wonderful resource for our research and extension of thoughts over that because we cannot have much time to dwell upon each line because that's why we have several commentators who have tried to give out a lot of uh, um, significance and importance uh, uh, covered in this particular expressions. After all, the entire Aruna Prasna is in the Vedic prose. It is Aranyaka. So Aranyaka is a Vedic prose, Brahmana is a Vedic prose, and uh, Rugveda is a metrical verse, and Najurveda mixed, Atharveda mixed, but only in Rugveda pure meter uh, verses are there. So that's why we call Rugveda the metrical Samhita, and uh, meter is convenient for certain uh, thoughts to be easily expressed and all. That's a separate subject. So today. We are coming to note that yaje yachi ashta yacha. Anyway, I explain this second last lines once again in the next class when we meet. We stop here. Om Swasti. Om Sahana Bhavato Sahano Bhunakto Sahavidyam Karavavahai Tejasvinavadhi Tamastu Mavidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Arihi Om Tat Satam Sarvam Sri Krishna Arpanamastam Sri Vasudevar Panamastam Sri Veda Purushashi Vadhostu Om Tat Satam Arivam Narkas. So <clears throat> We'll meet next week, honey. Okay. Ah, we'll just see it. Oh, bye.